One of the most frustrating things for me is my never ending search for the perfect web browser. I guess it just doesn't exist. I'm always changing web browsers. I've got like half a dozen installed on my system at the moment. I, I probably tried, I don't know, 12, 15 different web browsers in the last few years. And the one I like the most and the one I'd probably use full time if I didn't do this YouTube channel is Cube Browser. Cube Browser is fantastic. It's uh, Chromium based. It's fast. It's it's really nice. It's keyboard driven. It's got Vim like key bindings. So it's really nice, minimal, you know, not a lot of window decorations and, you know, su superfluous stuff on the screen. I really like Cube Browser, but the problem with Cube Browser is it doesn't really head have ad block and or at least it doesn't have a proper ad block so occasionally ads do play and I can't be recording my browser which I'm often doing and having banner ads displayed any kind of animated stuff going on you know animated ads it's not a, a good look it's not a professional look so what I've been using here lately especially for recording video is using the brave browser because brave of course has ad block built in brave is also a chromium based browser and it's really nice I, I, I really enjoy the Brave browser, but I kind of miss Cute Browser's Vim-like key binding. So this morning, what I've been playing around with is Vimium. Vimium, the hacker's browser. It's a, a plugin that's available for both Chrome browsers and Firefox-based browsers. So pretty much every web browser known to man, well, I guess not Safari, but uh, who the hell uses the Safari browser? But this should be able to be installed on most mainstream web browsers. And what this does is it gives you those Vim-like key bindings you're used to so when it's turned on you know gg would go to the top of the document and capital g would go to the bottom and you could use j and k to navigate there's j down k up if i wanted to uh, find a link i could do f and then we get all the uh, links uh, here, the hints for the links. So if I wanted to go to this first link here, Vimium, the hacker's browser, that heading, the uh, hint for that is W. So if I do W, you know, I would go to that link. You know, I, we actually clicked on it and we go to that section of the page, GG, back to the top of the document here. Now, of course, right now I'm reading the readme for Vimium over on GitHub. So the source code for Vimium is on GitHub. It's free and open source software. It's licensed under the MIT license. Uh, for those that want to go to the Vimium proper front end of their website, it's vimium.github.io. I'll, of course, link to all of this in the show description. Boy, it's a blinding white page, though, but it's really nice, their homepage, because on the homepage, they give you some of the most common key bindings right here on the homepage. So, I mean, typically, that's probably what most people are, are going to get, right? If you're going to the Vimium homepage, you want a, a install link, and they have the install link for Chrome and Firefox, or the key bindings, and they have all that right here on this very short little page. So I kind of like that information. Of course, the readme goes into much more detail because there's far more key bindings than what are shown on the Vimium website. And by the way, I can actually navigate the tabs, of course, with the keyboard instead of using the mouse like I just did. Uh, I, I believe there's two different ways to navigate through the tabs. You could use uh, capital J, capital K for up and down, which are really going to be left and right through the tabs. So if I do uh, shift J, capital J, you know, I move back, shift K moves forward in the tabs, shift K again, moves forward one more time. If I wanted to delete a tab, X would delete the tab. Uh, another way to navigate the tabs is the traditional Vim-like bindings that many Vim plugins use, which is GT to navigate through tabs. So GT would navigate through the tabs that direction. G capital T would navigate through the tabs in the reverse direction. One of the really neat things with Vimium, earlier I deleted a tab by doing X on the keyboard. Now, capital X, shift X, would undo that closed tab. So, hey, that tab I closed earlier and got out of the way, I want it back. Just shift X will bring up that last tab that I closed. So I, I know a, a lot of people like to keep a million tabs open, you know, but with this feature, you don't have to do that. You can get rid of them, you know, just X to get rid of all the tabs you're not currently needing. And if later you realize, oh, you know what? I need some of them tabs back, capital X. <laughs> so the, uh, you don't need, uh, it, it, that really drives me insane. I don't know how people have so many tabs open because that, that bothers me, especially if you're navigating through the tabs because you've got so many open that you really don't use. But maybe that's just the boomer in me. You know, obviously, I was using web browsers before tabs were even a thing. 
to search through a page, it's the same as in Vim. So if you do a slash, uh, you get a little search prompt and then slash. And then what are you searching for? I'm going to search for the word Vimium on this page because I know it's here a bunch of times. And then I'm going to hit enter. And then just like in Vim, to navigate through the search results, you can do in for next. So that's the next instance of Vimium. That's the next and the next. And capital N would go in reverse order through the search results. If you want to get some help information, what you can do is do the question mark. So hit question mark on the keyboard and you get the Vimium help, which is uh, just a, a quick list of some of the most common key bindings you can click show advanced commands here and get an even bigger list here and when you're done with this list you can do the question mark again gets rid of it and goes back to the page that you were viewing before you asked for help very similar to what i was used to in cute browser o on the keyboard is open a url or a bookmark so if i hit o on the keyboard and then start typing for something maybe i want to go to odyssey uh, and let me go to Odyssey, and that's how we do that. So O gets you uh, the prompt to go to a URL. A capital O would do the same thing, except open that in a new tab rather than the current tab. So maybe I didn't want to go to Odyssey, or, I, or I'm done with Odyssey. I want to go back. Of course, Shift H and Shift L go forward and back, or actually H is back, L is forward. Uh, in your history. So if I do Shift H, capital H, I'll go back to that page. Shift L would go forward, back to Odyssey. Shift H goes back. So standard Vim like key bindings that many uh, web browsers that use Vim like key bindings, if you've ever used Cute Browser or if you've ever used Suckless Surf, um, they of course rely heavily on HJKL for similar navigation functions. So let me do capital O on the keyboard and I want to go to duck, duck, go if I can spell it correctly. <laughs> of course, capital O opens that, of course, in a new frame. And what I can do, I'm already in insert mode, so I could search for something. You know, I could search for distro tube if I wanted to do some kind of vanity search here on duck, duck, go. Of course, you're already in insert mode, but if I hit escape, I would no longer be in insert mode. And that's where I could use my Vim like key bindings like F if I wanted to click on uh, one of the other links on the page. If I want to get back into insert mode, though, I, of course, gets me back into insert mode. And from here, well, I could tab to get back there into the, the search block, or I could just click on it and then do a quick search. And from here, if I wanted to go ahead and complete that search for distro tube, and then I get the search results, I could hit F to get the, the hints for the links. And maybe I wanted to go to the GitLab for distro tube. It looks like capital P clicks that link. And of course, it opens it here. I actually that was not the right link. That was my YouTube channel for that link. Uh, but let me go back. Well, of course, Shift H goes back. If I want to delete the tab again, X and X and X and X. You know, if I wanted to bring them all back, Shift X, Shift X, Shift X, Shift X, Shift X one more time. Very cool stuff. I'm really digging Vimium. I've only been playing with it for a couple of hours this morning. Uh, there's some customization options you can do. You can actually change some of the key bindings and things once you get into the settings. It's not crazy customizable. It's not like a, a Vim config or anything. There's just a little bit of stuff you can do to it. I've used Vimium before. This was not the first time I've tried it out. I've tried it out two or three years ago. I played with it a little bit. I played with three or four different Vim-like plugins for these kinds of browsers for uh, Chrome and Firefox, uh, Vimium, uh, Tridactyl is another popular one. There, there's three or four of them that have some, some good popularity. Vimium's probably the most popular, I would say. Uh, the, at least it seems to be the one that gets talked about the most. I highly recommend you guys try out Vimium, especially if you're a Vim user and you're used to Vim-like navigation and all of your programs. Check out Vimium. If you're on a Chromium-based browser, it's in the Chrome extension store. Those of you running Firefox-based browsers, look for it in the Firefox add-on store. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Absy Dallas, Gabe, Lou, Mitchell, Alan, Akami, Archfit for 30, Chuck, David, the other, David, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Paul, Polytech, Scott, Stephen, Swin, Wes, and Willie. These guys are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This quick look at the Vimium Chrome extension, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm just sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like what I do, consider supporting the channel. Look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.
I wonder if there's an Emacs-like plugin 